Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, Eric, you're the host. I am the host and I'll start sharing my screen. Um, see. Close this out. Okay, I hope everybody can see my screen. Um, view. All right, everyone. Um, good afternoon. My name is Eric Waldy. I'll be your proctor today. I just want to say a couple of things quickly. Um, we're going to run through the, the rules, which I'm sure you all know. What I'm going to look to do today is uh, keep, keep the time and read the questions. I believe that it's going to be amongst yourselves to keep the score, correct? You guys can do the scorekeeping yourselves? Can be done. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm going to try to keep everybody on the... Uh, on the timeline, so round one through four this is the individual rounds. Each play player will select a topic with two questions. The topics will alternate between individuals from teams for a total of eight topics. Uh, round five is the team round. Each team will select one topic with two questions, total of two topics. And round six is also the team. Uh, each team will select one topic with three questions, total of two, two topics. As we know, for the individual rounds, I will read the questions. The individual will have 30 seconds to answer, failing which is passed to the same team. Uh, team communicates by a hand signal only. The first words that are spoken, I'm going to take as your answer. All right? So if, if in, in the individual round, if, if you say something and then say it to me afterwards, no, I was just thinking out loud, whatever you say is, is the answer that I'm going to take. All right? Obviously, in the team rounds, um, you can discuss the answers verbally, and I'll wait till you say, this is our final answer. Um, and I need those words said uh, so that there isn't the confusion of if somebody says multiple things and they think that you know, one is their final answer. Um, and I'm going to try to keep you to the time frame, which is 30 seconds for the individual answers and seconds for the passes. Um, the, uh, I've reviewed the questions today, and... Uh, they are quite wordy, and I've gone through the pronunciation guides, but bear with me if I stumble through some names. I've done my best to review some uh, pronunciation guides, but can't, I can't guarantee them all, all right? So with that said, uh, masochists, masochists have won the coin toss, and you guys will select first. You've all seen the categories. Uh, your first player should make okay, a Okay, Louis, go. Okay, uh, things Filipino. Things Filipino. <laughs> Question one, which Phil, uh, Philippine signature dish involves a marinade made of vinegar, garlic, soy sauce, or fish sauce, patis, black peppercorns, and bay leaf? This dish bears the name of a Spanish dish, though the cooking methods are only superficially similar. Dobo. That's your final answer? Yes. That is your, that's the answer. And we'll go to question two. On October 1st, 1975, how was Carlos Sonny Dolorico Padilla Jr. at the center stage of a very significant sporting moment? Uh, he was the referee of the Trilla, of Manila, Trilla in Manila. That is correct. He was the referee of the uh, Fraser Ali bout, Trilla in Manila. All right. We'll pass it now over to uh, Gats to Pass for their selection. So... Uh, I'll be going first, and I choose yeah. life and chemistry. Life and chemistry. Question one. At the end of the 19th century, French pharmacologist Raphael Dubois discovered that the root of bioluminescence was from a heat-stable or organic molecule, which when oxidized by an enzyme gave out the light that we are familiar with. What do we now call this organic molecule and its enzyme? Don't be de bedeviled. One of two will do. Phosphorescence. Pardon me? Uh, phosphorescence. That is incorrect. I will say this is a luciferin and luciferase. Both of those are correct. You only needed one, you got them both. All right. Question two. 
GFP can be spliced into all kinds of DNA sequences to serve as a marker in living cells and is widely used in biological research. This discovery is considered one of the greatest biological discoveries ever and won Rodney Wildson, Osamu Shimomura, and Martin Chalfi the 2008 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Where did the trio first isolate GFP from? Knowing what GFP stands for would help. Uh, is it Panda? Is it? Panda. Incorrect. Somebody want to take a guess? No, no. Then I will go with uh, Yartwe. Do we have a guess coming? Yartwe, Yartwe. Um, incorrect. No. We pass. We take it now. Yeah. Okay, Jojo, take it. Jellyfish. Jellyfish is correct. So the end. The three answers that would have been acceptable: jellyfish, aquaria, Victoria, or crystal jelly. Okay, okay. I'm up. I'll go for military ranks. Military ranks. Question one. What rank ultimately comes from the medieval Arabic word for military commander? The Arabic suffix that normally follows such Arabic titles was assumed by Europeans as a substantive word, Latinized, and added to the word. Admiral. Admiral is correct. And it comes from uh, Amir al. Uh, question two. Which word once meant an officer in the British army below the rank of captain. In post-colonial theory, the word describes the lower social classes and other social groups displaced to the margins of a society. It was first used in this sense by Antonio Gramsci from 1891 to 1937, an Italian Marxist and communist who was imprisoned for a long time by Mussolini. Subaltern. That is correct. Subaltern. That's to pass with the next selection. Yeah, I'll go with the 8,000ers. The 8,000ers. Right. Yeah. Okay. Question one. The RuPaul face is the world's largest rock wall, rising some 4,700 meters from base to summit, and is the south face of which mountain, the ninth tallest in the world? The largely snow-free condition of the RuPaul face gives the mountain its name. Uh, I, I'll just say Lotse and pass it to Terry. Um, that will be passed, yeah. Nanga Parbat. Pardon me? Nanga Parbat. That is correct. Nanga Parbat, which means naked mountain. Naked mountain? Yeah, naked mountain. Nanga Parbat. Okay. Question two in the 8,000ers. It was the first 8,000 meter peak ever successfully climbed in 1950, but with a fatality rate of 32%, it is the deadliest of the 14 8,000ers. It is also the site of Nepal's worst ever trekking disaster with 43 people killed in October, 2014. Which mountain is named so as its streams provide water for the agricultural fields and pastures at its foothills? This is the Shippa Ganga. Pardon me? Shippa Ganga. Nope. Incorrect. Then I will say this is a Annapurna. Annapurna is correct. <laughs> Filled with food or everlasting food. Okay. Okay, Julius. Hello. Uh, sorry. Hello, Ba. Yeah. Ah, Jojo. Sorry, Jojo. Yeah. Okay. Entertainment awards. Entertainment awards. 
First question. The Cecil B. DeMille Award is awarded for outstanding contributions to the world of entertainment by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association as part of the Golden Globe Award ceremony each year. Who was its first recipient in 1952? Is it Cecil B. DeMille? That is correct. Cecil B. DeMille is the first recipient of the Cecil B. DeMille Award. All right. Question two. Which award is given in the form of a statuette that is a nude male figure holding both a mask of comedy and a mask of tragedy called the actor? Morgan Freeman complained, it works from the back, but from the front, it's gender specific. Uh, SAG award. Screen up SAG, award. award. SAG award is correct. Yeah, that statue there is referred to as the actor. Correct. All right. That's to pass. Okay, so I'll try footwear. Footwear. Okay. Question one. The shoe was created by a doctor in the German World War II Army who hurt his ankle while skiing. He designed improvements to the Army boots with soft leather and air padded soles made of tires. And these comfortable shoes were eventually adopted by middle aged housewives. Which brand? I guess Doc Martens. Doc Martens is correct. Doc Martens. Um, question two. In April 2024, in April 2021, the shoe company offered full refunds to purchasers of its set, uh, Satan shoes and Jesus shoes, which were launched in 2019 after Nike threatened to sue them. Earlier, the company offered USD $76,000 Birkenstocks made from deconstructed Hermes Birkin bags, gold buckles, and actual Birkenstock cork soles, which Brooklyn Collective, which runs on quote, unstructured chaos, unquote, and whose founding CEO, Gabrielle Whaley, obviously has no use for vowels, is this. I think I guess, Com de Garçon. Incorrect. One of you try. Yeah, somebody goes for, I, I have no idea. You didn't know, doctor. Okay. Idea. So, we, so we may pass. We pass him. Yeah. Class to masochists. Anyone, guys? Okay, I'll, I'll guess. FCUK? Good guess, not right. Uh, the answer is mischief. Um, oh, no. no. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, Julius, you're up. Sorry, I will have to pick AI. AI. All right. AI. First question. It is played with three people, a man, a woman, and an interrogator who may be of either sex. The interrogator stays in a room apart from the other two. The object of the game for the interrogators determine which of the other two is the man and which is the woman. Which test for machine intelligence was proposed and named by Alan Turing in 1951? It is now called the Turing test. Sorry, I'll pass. Okay. Pass. Anybody else on okay. Massacre? All right, Joe. I hope you're not. I hope we're thinking the same thing. Okay, Joe. Imitation game. Huh? Imitation game. That is correct. The imitation okay. game. All right. Good job. Same, same. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah. question two. 
In 2013, IBM's Watson got a swear filter and had which online resource purged from its vocabulary after it, starting, after it started using crass language at random points in its response? Uh, is it Google? Incorrect. Okay, John, go. Urban Dictionary. Urban Dictionary is correct. Okay. Gats to pass. Okay, okay, then I will take a... I will take um, the um, ancient humans. Ancient humans. Yeah. Ancient humans, question one. The Homo floresiens, oh gosh, I stumble on this word, floresiensis, were ancient humans that lived between 100,000 and 50,000 years ago, whose remains have been discovered on the Indonesian island of Flores. Due to their miniature size, researchers have what name for them, borrowed from pop culture? I will guess uh, Barbado. Incorrect. Hobbits. Hobbits is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hobbit man or hobbits, that is correct. Question two in ancient humans. The first few bone fragments and teeth of this ancient humans were discovered in Siberia, but jaw bones have also been uh, recently have been discovered in Tibet. Which kind of humans are named for a cave in Siberia located in the Altai Mountains? I will say some abilis, abilisman. Incorrect. Somebody want to take a guess? No. Yes. Maybe doctor can try. Do we have somebody giving a guess? All right, we'll pass. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we pass. Sure. Okay. And, uh, anybody? Okay, I don't, I'm afraid none of us know either. <laughs> All right, the answer is Dennis Ovens. Ah. Dennis Ovens. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the uh, individual. individual rounds. Now we go to the team round. Okay, guys, what's it gonna be? Gymnastics or tea? Or beverages? Tea. Okay. <laughs> All right, I don't know either, so. Anyone would. Hey, Julius. Uh, I'll go with tea. Okay. We're going for all the chai tea latte in Asia. All the chai tea latte in Asia. Question one. In Mandarin, it's called zhu cha, literally pearl tea or bead tea. What odd name is given in English to this form of Chinese tea in which each leaf has been rolled into a small round pellet? The name may come from its appearance or from Mandarin for freshly brewed, which is said Gang Bao De. Gang Bao Da. Okay. All right, guys, anything? Uh, leaf has been rolled. Bubble tea bottle. Gang Bao De sounds like gunpowder. Gun what odd name is okay. given in English? Uh, does everyone concur? Yeah, I mean, that's what it sounds okay. like. All right, our final answer is gunpowder. Gunpowder tea is correct. Okay, good nice. job, Julius. <laughs> nice. Good job. And question two. Gunpowder. Darjeeling tea is often sold not just single estates like wine, but also by harvesting seasons, four of which, first, second, monsoon, autumn, are distinct. These harvesting seasons are known by what word or term whose usage is nearly exclusive to tea in this part of India. Okay. So, what's it gonna be, guys? Aroma Indian tea. Pardon? Yeah. 
Uh, uh, no idea. No idea. Ah. Uh, anyone care to guess? Station. Kasi parang the dealing express. Eh. Okay. Okay, guys. 30 seconds is up. Okay. We pass. Ah, uh, okay. We're, uh, we give. Is it even non-competent? What's that? Okay. Yeah. I, I, I can take they can guess. Yeah. Yes. Go for it. Yeah. Yes, guys. But this is this is is this for this isn't for points, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think it's flush. Flush is correct. Flush. Flush is correct. Oh. oh my all right, that leaves gymnastics to Gats to pass. Gats to pass, your first question in gymnastics is as follows. A backward somersault that ends with the gymnast straddling the beam and now named for her, which oh, gymnast uh, nicknamed Sparrow from Minsk first performed this in the 1972 Olympics. This gymnast also has a flip name for her. Eventually banned because it was too dangerous. I don't know, right? No, we, we can discuss. No, 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 no. We can discuss. This is Olga Korbiu, 1972. You're allowed to discuss. So it should be, so be Kor Korbiu. Should be. What? Not Prodonova? No, Prodonova. This is Spanner from Minsk, Iran. Okay, but it's 1972. Okay. So it should be some more famous. It should be uh, Korbiu flip is there, I think. Olga Korbiu. Okay. We want the name, not just tell the name. Yeah, so it's a, it is a, we are going for Olga Korbiu. That is correct, Olga Korbiu. Um, fellas, I see that uh, that we've got somebody looking to enter the room. Uh, that Ron, Ron, yeah, so yeah. Olga Corbett is correct. Okay, wait, um, I, can't, I can't see him. Okay, so I think because I'm the host. Yes. Uh, hang on, let me, let me just see this. Um, where is... Where do I let somebody in? Maybe we could just do this after the first round. After the first round is almost done. That's what we'll do. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, guys. Apologies. We'll uh, do it after the first round. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll go back. Yeah. Question two. All right. This is where I'm going to stumble on names. Oskana Chusovitina, Yelena Prudonova, Mitsuo Sukahara, Sukahara, Natalia Yurchenko, Simona Amanar, Cheng Fei, and Kyle Schufelt all have moves named for them in which gymnastic event? I think this is a word, I think, word. Because word, yes. Word, word it should be. Yeah, yeah word. Okay. okay. Yeah. Because our, our gymnast was um, doing it in the board. Not paddle, but the word. Word, word. We are going for word. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll take that as your final answer, and it's correct. The vault. <laughs> All right. So, um, to masochists, you get to select team round A or team round B. Okay. What's the score, by the way? Who's keeping score? Score update. Yeah. Can sure. you give the score? Unmute. Unmute, yo. Unmute. Uh, 17 for masochist and 10 for guts. Okay. All right. Masochists, you get the first selection, team round A or team round B. Okay, a. what will it be, guys? A or B? A. A it is. Okay, go for it. A it is. Team round A, question one. For long awarded at the main Oscar ceremony, it is named after a Danish-American screen actor who served as president of the Motion Picture Relief Fund for 18 years. The 39 awardees so far include Jerry Lewis, Audrey Hepburn, Angelina Jolie, and Oprah Winfrey. Either give me who it is named for or what it is awarded for. I think this is the Thalberg. Thalberg, hindi Jean Herschel. Okay, her, her. okay, we'll go for that if that's. Yung humanitarian, diba? Jean Herschel. Okay, we can go for the name or you want the category. We can go for that or the category, the humanitarian. You can give me the name or, the, or what the category. Yeah. Okay. Herschel. Herschel. Okay. That's our final answer. Uh, Herschel. That is correct. And you were also correct that it's the humanitarian. All right. Question two. What's common? A 
performance test designed in the early 1990s by a Danish uh, phil- physiologist, Jens Bangsbo, a Philippine export once called the Bandalore, a Paris-born classical musician with 18 Grammys and initiator of the Silk Road Project, a collaboration promoting multiculturalism amongst artists. Okay. Bangsbo. Paris-born musician. I presume she's a Sean Bird. Sean Bird. Philippine Paris export yeah, once right. called Bandalore. Bandalore. Di kaya ano? Okay. Yo yo ma. Oh, okay. Paris born, de ba? Yo yo export, Philippine export yo yo. Okay, okay, wait. Oh. So what's it gonna be? Yo yo yo. Yo yo, siguro. Yo yo. Right. All right. Our final answer will be yo yo. Pwede de ba? Yo yo is correct. It's the yo yo okay. test. Okay. Yo yo. Uh, Avoid Filipino, huh? Avoid Filipino. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I just, well, yeah. I just noticed that I've got a countdown clock on the screen that I can use, so I don't have to use my phone here. Okay, question three. The islands of Southeast Asia were once inhabited by two species of miniature, or hobbit, humans. The first discovered being Homo floresiensis. Wow, I'll stumble on that word. In 2019, the second hobbit species was discovered in which large island? Today, the fourth most populous island in the world. Luzon, diba? Homo luzonensis. Okay, Luzon. Luzon. Uh-huh. Okay, our final answer is Luzon. Correct, Luzon. Well done. All right, now we'll go to Gats to Pass for team round B. Gats to Pass, ready? Question one. What is the name of journalist John Krakauer's 1997 nonfiction classic, which recounts his experience during the Mount Everest disaster a year earlier, when a blizzard came through and killed eight climbers? Indo thin air. This is Indo thin air, I think. Yeah. This is Indo thin air, isn't it? Indo thin air, I know. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to start that. Yeah, Indo yeah. thin thin air. That's, that's, that's your answer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That is the correct answer. Into thin air. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Question two, adopted in 14th century and used until Napoleon caused this republic's dissolution in 1797, the banner of St. Mark carried which mythical slash religious creature charge on it? The answer can be two words or four words. The only thing I can think of is a dragon, but and Mark is associated with Venice, you know, always. Denmark, Venice. So that is that lion thing, no? What lion is that? Winged lion. Shall we try that? Griffin. Griffin. But it's no, a two word or four word answer. It is. Yeah, winged lion, I think, then. If it is uh, Venice. Yeah, yeah, okay, I think. It's okay, so go with um, the, uh, that one. Yep. Winged lion? Yeah. Winged lion is correct. Yeah. Winged lion, sure. golden yeah. lion, or lion of St. Mark. Right. Well done. Question three. Oscana Chusovitina, who has five moves in gymnastics named for her, also represented five national teams in her career. USSR, Germany, CIS, Unified Team, former USSR, and which other nation, once a part of the Soviet Union, where her birthplace is located? So let us go with uh, either... Uh... Belarus or uh, Ukraine? These are the places from where usually the gymnast comes. <laughs> yeah. 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 I guess One of the two. Huh? Belarus or Ukraine? Yeah. You, call, you decide. Yeah? You, you decide. You are called. So can we go with Belarus or Ukraine? Yeah, Belarus, yeah. Okay, Belarus. Belarus. So we are going with uh, Belarus. The answer was neither. Uzbekistan. Oh. Oh. All right, so that brings us to the re- end of the first round. Um, Somebody please get a score there, right? Yes. Yeah, can we get a Let's score, score please? Uh, 23 for MQ and Guts, 14. Okay. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll take a five-minute break so people can stretch the legs and whatnot. Uh, during that time, Ron, um, I will t- turn the uh, hosting over back to you so you can let in. Do you want me to just do it from here? Okay. Uh, First, before we begin, uh, okay, I like to address this to Gats. No, will you allow our main player to uh, come in? 
way because uh, he just had a technical problem. That's why he's only coming in now. Is it all right with you? EJ, what do you say? I don't have a problem. No, I haven't got any problem. All right. Okay, we're just going to wait for him to come in. Okay. But if he, if he still can't come in due to problem, we'll keep it. Start yung, isang, yung isang link kasi yung kiniklik niya eh. Yes. Yung sa 200. Yeah, yung... Okay. Uh, it's 2.04 right now. All right. We'll reconvene at 2.09. Okay. okay. Right. And if I see somebody's looking to get in, I'll let them in run. Sure. Just grab a water. Okay, our teammates coming in. Okay, Leo, pakai on a video. Let's see. Okay, so hey, hold on. You still, uh... okay. Leo, pakai on a video. <clears throat> oh, there's Leo, yep. Video off. Here's on. Okay. Leo, may oh. problem, problema video. Oh, okay. Ayan. All right. Oh, there's Leo. Okay. okay. Leo, reminder lang, ha? Okay. Huwag pa siya doong gigil, ha? So, kasi sa mind, ha? Pag-turn mo na, ha? Masyadong? Hindi, huwag ka may... Oh. Iwasan natin ang nangyari last time, ha? Yung ano, huwag pa siya doong gigil. Huwag siya doong gigil. Okay? Kasi sa mind. Kalma lang daw. Oo. Oh. Okay? Tsaka touch mo ba? Ingat. Ingat sa pagsagot, ha? Touch move dito, ha? Okay, okay, okay. Walang bawihan pag ano. Walang bawihan sa sagot. Okay. Okay, everyone. Okay, it's 2.09. We'll come back in the session. Oh, it's 2.08. We still have a couple seconds. But we'll come back in the session. Okay. I'll, I'll begin sharing my screen. Host, uh, I need to screen. Host disabled uh, participant screen, screen sharing. Ron, you have to make me host again. Okay, hold on. There. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, share screen. Share. I'll come over here. Okay, so for packet two, um, we're going to have uh, gas to pass will be the first to select. It's going to move stuff off my screen. All right, I'll click the start. We'll get going. You guys have seen the team. Uh, you've seen the uh, categories already, so I'll review them. We'll just leave it now to gas to pass to select which category they'd like to start with. It is your turn. Yeah, it's my turn, right? So I, I will go with cults, religious groups. Sure. Cults and religious groups. Your first question. In March 1997, followers of the American religious cult, Heaven's Gate, committed mass suicide, timing it with the approach of which celestial object named after two American astronomers? Yep. Oh, sorry. Um, is it the Schumacher Levy? Incorrect. So this is a Halley book. That is correct. <laughs> Comet Hale Bob. Yeah, Halley Bob. All right, question two. A self confessed atheist who said he belonged to the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. In 2011, Austrian Nico Alm won the right to have his photo on his driver's license wearing what headgear? The term comes from Latin for to strain. Uh, is it a uh, colander? That is correct. It's a colander. Yeah. All right. There you go. Now we pass. Can we pick the category? Mm -hmm. Asian history. Asian history. Here we go. Question one. September 12th is celebrated as Runama Day. Runama in a book written by the former president of the country. In 2002, the then government of the country announced the remaining of the months of the year, the renaming of the months of the year. Some of these decisions have since been reversed by his successor, President Gurbanguly Berni Muhammadov, Muhammado, I think it is. Which country? Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan is correct. Right. And question two, the president of this Central Asian country, Askar Akayev, was ousted in 2005 as a result of a movement referred to after which member of the order Lilialis. Lilialis. Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is. Good job, Louis. Good job. Okay. Where's my, okay. Yep, here we go. All right, back to Gats to Pass. Yes, yeah, so I'll take uh, psychology. Psychology. Question one. Represented at the top of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, about what hyphenated term does Maslow, in his 1943 paper, A Theory of Human Motivation, say this tendency might be phrased as the desire to become more and more what one is, to become everything that one is capable of becoming, and the exact term is required. No, I can't, I can't pass. Yeah, I'll take this. Yeah. yeah. So this is uh, self actualization. That is correct. Self actualization. And question two Kubler Ross's five stages of grief model are denial, anger, blank, depression, and acceptance. What transactional term fills, fills in the blank? In her 1969 book on death and dying, Kubler-Ross says that the term is really an attempt to postpone. It has to include a prize offered. It has to include a prize offered for good behavior. It also sets a self-imposed deadline. I 
I just say exchange pass. It's not ex it's not exchange. So passed. So what I say is uh, negotiation. Um, negotiation isn't correct. Okay, okay Louis. Take it, Louis. Bargaining. Bargaining is correct. The answer is bargaining. Close. Okay, next. Okay. <laughs> I'm uh, okay, so toss up. I decide which two I'm going to get. Uh, All right, I'm going to go with uh, women political leaders. Women political leaders. All right. First question. In office since the 21st of March, 2015, and the first woman to serve as prime minister of the country, of this country, Sara Kugongelwa Amadalia, Amadlia, Amadila, is the prime minister of which country? She's a member of the political party, Southwest African People's Organization which played a key role in the country's independence movement. The country became independent in 1990. Namibia. That's correct. I spent, I spent about five minutes on a pronunciation guide today on her name and still didn't get it right, but you are correct, it's Namibia. All right, and question two. In 2017, Anna Brnabic became the first woman and first openly gay person to become the prime minister of which Eastern European country? Her remarks in 2018 denying the 1995 massacre was an act of genocide, was criticized by the President of the UN War Crimes Court in The Hague. Okay. Uh, Bosnia Herzegovina? Incorrect. Okay. Anyone? Okay, Joe, take it. Serbia. Serbia is correct. Yeah, a toss up. Yeah. Good job, Joe. Okay. We go back to uh, Gats to Pass. Well, I think art. Art. Okay. Here we go. Question one in art. Rene Magritte's Copper Handcuffs is a 1932 artwork that is created using a reduced scale pre existing plaster version of which statue? He painted the head in white and draped the legs in blue. Pietra. Incorrect. Pass to uh, a member of your team. Can I go? Somebody else hasn't got a clue, then I will try and make a guess. Okay. Goji. Start your time now. So is it a Mar Mariana? Mariana? Incorrect. Passing to masochists. Okay. Anyone, guys? Anything? Okay, David. Joe, try. Uh, David? David? David is incorrect. The answer was Venus de Milo. Hmm. No points awarded there. Back to Gats to Pass for question two. Creator of works such as Untitled, Hand Shell, 1934, and subject of works such as Weeping Woman, 1937, painted by another person. Identify the artist who was born Henrietta Theodora Markowicz in November 22nd, 1907. Time starts. And I'll guess Frida Kahlo. No, incorrect. Can I take a guess? Yeah. Is, uh, I will say Georgi Okifi. Incorrect. Okay. Uh, I'll, give it to, I'll give it to Georgi. Uh, I'll take it. Dora Mar. Dora Mar is correct. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, I do. Okay, I do. okay. so we move back to uh, masochists for their selection. Okay, Joe. Uh, jazz royalty. Jazz royalty. Question one. In 1999, the centennial year of his birth, which jazz legend was posthumously awarded the special Pulitzer in recognition of his musical genius, 
which evoked aesthetically the principles of democracy through the medium of jazz and thus made an indelible contribution to art and culture. He was awarded the Grammy for a score for the 1959 film, Anatomy of a Murder. I'm sorry, Sam. Duke Ellington? Incorrect. Okay, oh. Leo. Hang, hang on, hang on. I misheard you. You, you, can you. Can you repeat what you said? Duke Ellington. Yeah, sorry. I thought you said something that started with a J. I thought you said Duke, like J. <laughs> no, you're right. It's Duke Ellington. Okay. Is the yeah. sorry. My, my, my apologies on that. That was correct. Um, question two. Some of the tracks in this 1966 album include Underneath the Mango Tree, Girl Trouble, Kingston Calypso, etc. Titled Blank Meets Bond. This collection of music from the first four Bond films was performed by which jazz pianist, composer, and band leader, and his orchestra? Time starts. Count Basie. That is correct. Count Basie is correct. Very good. All right. Now back over to Gats the Pass. I'll go with um, Sieges in History. Sieges in History. Okay. Question one. A grandson of Genghis Khan, Batu Khan's army laid siege to and eventually destroyed which city? A present day East European capital on the river Dnieper. The city was then ruled by the Principality of Hal Halik Volnia. The name may also remind you of a class of aircraft carriers. Is it a uh, It is not. Incorrect. To pass. Take a guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess Budapest. It is not Budapest. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. Minsk. It is not Minsk. It's Kiev. Oh. Okay. And question two. During the Hundred Years' War, Edward III of England laid siege to which France port city? Edward III laid the condition that the citizens should surrender the city and six prominent members of the city council. This is commemorated in a late 19th century artwork. This is Calais, the Burgers of Calais. That is correct. Calais is correct. <coughs> okay, we'll go back to masochists. Hey, Leo. Leo. Leo, is Leo with us? Yeah. Um, he's there. Yeah, and his microphone's turned on. Okay. Yeah. Gaps. Oh. Uh, Elena. Yeah. Leo. 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 I think it's video froze. froze. Okay. Um, Leo. Ah. Yeah, he's having video, having technical problems again. So, so what I would suggest doing, and I'm, uh, is to not hold everything up. Um, I would think that this round would have to be forfeited. Is that is that this this next selection of, of, of category? Or would you, would you uh, like we can have seat four of that go first while we're waiting for later? Yeah, that's that was the other thing I was gonna say. Right. See, if Gats is all right with that, if Gats to pass is all right with that, then they can select, um, giving them the advantage of having more selections on the board, which sort of makes it fair. 
Gats, are you okay with that? Yeah, it's okay. Fine. Okay. okay, so why don't we let Gats to pass select next with seat four? Oh, Leo, mamaya, mamaya, pagkatapos sila, mamaya. So Gats will let you go and have another selection now. So what is about that? Then uh, it will be uneven, isn't it? What's that? We, we have chosen our uh, subject. Oh no, already. no, that's correct. We've already had. No, they're they're yeah. they're done. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Leo's the only one left. Leo, are you there? Uh, Leo. Uh, Leo. Hey, Leo. Leo. Huh? Good. Okay. Ano category? Pili ka ng category, Leo. Who's a category? Asian history. Asian history. Take na yan. Take na. So the only three categories left are books about sports, islands in Europe, or business. Art, art. Take na rin. Take na yan. Books about sports, islands in Europe, or business. Yung blue. Ah, islands in Europe, books about sports. And business. Business. Business it is. Here you go. Question one. Founded in 1910 by Namihe Odaira, the name of which Japanese multinational conglomerate company comes from kanji characters, meaning sunrise. The company is present in a variety of sectors such as construction machinery, elevators and escalators, defense systems, nuclear power plants, etc. One of the products called the magic wand, meant for relaxing muscles, was featured in a 2002 episode of Sex in the City and became popular for a niche purpose. Okay, I'll take it. Asahi. Pardon me? Asahi. Incorrect. Can I guess? Yes. Hitachi. Hitachi is correct. Hitachi. Okay. Now back to business. No pun intended when I said back to business there. I went to category. I get business. Question two. Blank and the Holocaust, the strategic alliance between Nazi Germany and America's most powerful corporation, is a 2001 book about which company whose systems were used by the Nazi regime in cataloging and identifying Jews? Uh, IBM. IBM is correct. Correct. Okay, so we're done with the individual rounds. Now we go to the team rounds. Um, first time, gas, gas to pass selects first. Books about what sports. Would be, what, would be better, what would be better? Books about sports or islands in uh, Europe? Yeah. I didn't. I might talk about islands in Europe. Islands in Europe is good. What about others? Uh, only one. There is a books about sports. No, what are the other, what are others saying? Edwin, doctor, what? Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Uh, I think islands in Europe is. Okay, okay. That's a consensus. So, it's it's fine. Islands in, so, so islands in uh, Europe. Islands in Europe it is. All right, yeah. here we go. First question, in islands in Europe. Meaning new land in Russian, which archipelago in the Arctic Ocean comprises the northern Severny Islands and the southern Yuzhny Island? It was a nuclear test site during the Cold War era and the most powerful nuclear weapon ever created was tested in this region. The answer is two words. It's something called Novaya Zelmya, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shall I say that? Yes. What is it? Novaya what? Novaya Zelmya. Okay, new land, eh? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we'll say Novaya Zelmya. And you are absolutely correct. Yeah, correct. All right. Question two. A mountain range located to the northwestern coast, the Serra de Tamunta, Tamuntana, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site located on which island? the largest in the Balearic Islands, part of Spain, in the Mediterranean Sea. The name comes from the Latin for larger one. It was named Mallorca, right? Pardon? Mallorca. Mallorca. 
Okay, question one. The story and legacy of the summer of 1976 is the subtitle of this book by David Tussell based on England's 1976 test series with West Indies. The one word title of the book comes from an offensive remark made by Tony Gregg before the start of the series. Tony Gregg, who has written the foreword to this book, has stated that he regretted making the remark. Identify the title, identify the title, a verb defined as an act, act in an obsequious, obsque, obsquecious, no, what is it? Obsequious way in order to obtain someone's forgiveness or favor. Uh, Grovel. Grovel. Okay. Uh, do you concur? Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, Grovel means that. Okay. Uh, Leo, do we concur? Concur? Okay. Uh, we don't have a choice. Okay. Our final answer is Grovel. And your answer is correct. Okay. Gravel is correct. Okay. Yeah, so. And question two. The blank blank, the authorized story of American gold, tells the story about the 1996 United States Olympic women's gymnastics team that won the first ever gold medal in the women's team competition at the 1996 Olympics. The team were Shannon Miller, Dominique Mosianu, Dominic Daz, Harry Strug, Amy Chow, Amanda Borden, and J.C. Phelps. What two words fill in the blank? That's the Magnificent Seven. Oh, you concur, guys? Yeah, concur. Okay, final answer, Magnificent Seven. And your final answer is correct. Okay. All right, now we go to uh, go back to Gats to Pass. Uh, we we know the score. score. Score update, guys. Yeah, apologies. Score update. Uh, I have 42 for MQ and 25 for Gats. All right. So, so then we go with the yeah. Which one would you like? Yeah, yeah. A? Yeah. A it is. All right. Team round A, question one. Part of Greece and located in the Aegean Sea, which numerically named island group comprises 15 major islands and several small islands? The campaign during World War II between September and November 1943 that bears the name of this island group resulted in a German victory. I think there's a group called Dudakanis is there. This is numerically named, isn't it? Dudakanis. Isn't it? Your call, I don't know. It's a numerically named island group. Anything else come to the mind, then I have to No, no. You, I think you can go for it then. So we go with the Dudakanis. Okay. You're correct. The Dudakanis is correct. All right. Question two. Sensory motor stage, birth to, birth to 18 to 24 months. Pre-operational stage, two to seven years. Concrete operational stage, seven to 11 years and former operational stage, ages 12 and up, are stages in the cognitive development of children in the theory pro proposed by which Swiss developmental psychologist? The name might be familiar from that of an unrelated lux luxury watch brand. And your time will start now. Um, Can we go with the Rolex? I don't think so, no. Is there I a... Thought it doesn't fit it, it doesn't fit uh, yeah, it should be six. So any other? Yeah, is there a psychologist called Rolex? Yeah, probably. Yeah, can we go with that or uh, some uh, something like uh, Philip Paget Pe something? Yeah, Jay, yeah. So we go with um, Rolex, okay. All right, time's up. Rolex. Incorrect. Oh. Want to guess, guys? But the answer was said in your discussion. That is correct. Yeah, Jay is correct. 
And your last question, question three. At the 50th annual Grammy Awards, 2007, Herbie Hancock's River, the blank letters won the album of the year at the best contemporary jazz album. It is a tribute album featuring cover songs of music written by which Canadian singer songwriter? In the Rolling Stone 500 greatest albums of all time, the artist's 1971 album Blue was listed as the third greatest album of all time. The only, the only Canadian singer songwriter I know is Leonard Cohen. Okay, go with it. I think it's Cohen. Cohen. So I would say that you were you were um, your mistake came from assuming it was male. Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell is correct. Oh. Joni Mitchell. Okay, and okay, team. Team. <laughs> yeah, right for masochists. Okay, masochists. Question one: George Burns' 2011 book. Best and Blank explores the footballing careers of two Manchester United legends, George Best and which other footballer who sadly died in 1958, age 21, due to injury sustained after an air crash in Munich? No idea. No idea, guys? No idea? No best, no. best and brightest. <laughs> ah. Best and worst. Okay. <laughs> We'll just throw it away. Best and bright, bright. It, incorrect. Um, I think it's fast. Do you have a I guess on it? Throw that. I have to throw that out. Might must be, must be, must be, must be. Yeah. What is it? No, it's uh, the answer is somebody I've never heard of actually. Duncan oh, Edwards. So. Okay. And question two. She went through a lot of shit, of course, and then she started a big painting in her house that said. Blank, blank, blank. I just love the boldness of it. That's Chris Martin referring to Frida Kahlo in the use of what three words as a part of the title of the album, whose cover art features Eugène Delacroix's Liberty Leading the Peoples. Okay, okay. Viva la vida. Viva la vida. Okay. Viva la vida. Okay. Viva la vida. All right. Our that's our final letter. Viva la vida. And you're absolutely correct. Viva la vida. Yeah. Okay. All right. And the last question of the afternoon. Lasting from around October 17th, 1854 till September 11th, 1855, this siege was a part of the major operation during the Crimean War. Thousands of, thousands of French and British troops laid siege to and eventually captured which city at the base of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. Charge of the Lake was made on October 25th and the Battle of Balaclava took place during this period. Yes, that's uh, Sebastopol, right? Okay. My letters, Sebastopol. Sebastopol. It took you two seconds to come up with it, so you're pretty confident and you were correct. Mm -hmm. That was correct. Sebastopol. Okay. Final score. Uh, wait. 46, 46 MQ and uh, 27 guts. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank guys. you. Yeah, thanks, thanks, guys. Thank you. Belgium, a good match. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Congrats to both teams. Good job, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm reclaiming the host. Yep. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Final score. Final score. Final score. Final score. Okay. 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 Joe, pakinig sa chat na yung score para makita. I'm gonna put it. Okay, he's gonna put it in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in the chat. Okay, that's it. Yeah, fine. Six, seven. Okay. All right. Fine. Thanks again. Okay. Thanks again, guys. Thanks again, Didi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm out. See you guys. Eric, hope you're available two weeks from now. We should be. I match. should be. I should be available two weeks from now. Yeah. All right. See you guys. We're saving the best for last. <laughs> okay. All right. Hi, guys. So long. I'm closing now. <laughs>